to me, it's life. You know, I think that the good thing about it, and I think the writing team did such a great job, a shout out to, to Dwayne Perkins, who was our writer and also is starring in the film as well. And I told him this genuinely as a person who was a fan of his writing. I think all of it coming together, that perfect gumbo of the satire, of the horror, of the comedy, it's real. I think, you know, life is not one thing. Humans are not monolithic. And I think that's the thing that we, we see in the film is that even though, you know, it takes on all these forms and it has all these themes, even in serious situations, people laugh. Even in dire circumstances, people find comedy. So I think it's all real. And then the idea of what's going on in our culture today and, and how it's all put apart upon the backdrop of horror, I think is really special too. What really drew me to the story, to the film, and to the character was a, was a commodity of things, honestly. It was an opportunity to work with a filmmaker and Tim Story that I grew up loving. Uh, and not that Tim is that old. He's just someone that has a young black man growing up and you see people accomplishing things on a, great, on a great stage, you know those names. And so to have the collection of producers and, and director in Tim that's telling this story was a gift to me because it's an opportunity to learn and go to film school at the same time and, and, and be an actor. Um, I was a fan of everybody that I was able to become aware of from being my castmates. Um, you know, I think when you're a student of the game, you research everybody and you watch their work and everybody is so talented. And so it was an opportunity to do that. It was an opportunity to play in, a, in, a, um, in another genre. A lot of my castmates have such a great improv background in terms of Dwayne, in terms of Ex Mayo, in terms of Jermaine. Um, so it's an opportunity just to live on your feet. And I think the best comedy comes when things are just free and they're reactive and they're not premeditated. And so in many cases in the dramas that I've done, it's always been a space where you follow the structure and you follow the dialogue that leads you from point A to Z or whatever that is. And this one, you can kind of go off, you can go off path. You know, Tim gave such freedom to say, okay, just play. 